Teaching your dog to stay is a bit more complicated than the basic commands, but international trainer Anthony Clark's showing some novices how it's done. If we ask the dog to wait, that basically means that whatever position you've said wait in, they have to stay in that position. So if I say wait and the dog's in a sit, I tell it to wait and walk away and I look back and it's led down, that's not what I've asked it to do. Whatever position I leave it in, I want to see the dog in that position when I reach my destination or when I finish doing whatever I'm doing. We can use a toy or food for reinforcement for this. The weight is one of the most basic but very important commands. Uh, we can use it in loads of different situations from day to day. One of the most important things is for your dog to understand that when it's in a position, whether it be sit, lie down or stand, and you ask it to wait, it stays in that position until you ask it to come forward or release it out of that position. So what we're going to do to start with, we're going to have you all doing it from a sit. OK, what I want you to do is tell the dog to sit and you're basically just going to take one. The dog's on your left. You're going to step forward with your left foot. OK, whilst feeding the dog. OK, so you're going to step forward on your left foot and feed the dog at the same time for staying in the position. So let's just break off and we'll give that a go. OK, so just step forward. Just step forward with the left leg. OK, let me just show you a second. All right, so if I take a treat, basically you're going to position him on your left-hand side. OK, Bruno, what's this? What's this? OK, sit. Good boy, well done. OK, so what you're going to do is you're going to step that leg forward. OK, sit. OK, you're going to step that leg forward as you feed him. So it's just a slight rock. He's not actually moving anywhere. So at the minute, what we're doing, we're kind of trying to distract him from the movement by the feed. OK, so just do it first of all. Step forward, feed him better. There you go. So basically what we want to see him doing is, as you're stepping forward, trying to get the dog used to staying in one position, okay, whilst you move away. And the hand staying in that position is going to be the reinforcer, which will give him the reward very quickly. Okay? Yeah. Let's give it another go. Good, straight back. There you go. Well done. Good. All right, well done. Okay, what I want you to do this time is tell him to sit. OK, and you're just going to go wait, and you're going to step away one, sideways, straight back feet. OK? Small step back, straight forward and give him the food. Good, well done. Jack Russell Shih Tzu Cross Lucy is four months old. Now it's her turn to impress. And you just go wait, wait, and just rock back, forward, feed her. OK? Give that a go. Be quite exciting, get her into you. Go back, feeder. There you go. Don't leave her there too long. There you go, that was better. Step away again. Go back, feeder, quickly. There you go, well done. Better. Good. Oh, be careful. Be careful, don't go back in towards her. When you're going to reward her, don't go in like this, because you see it brings her forward. So when she's in the position, okay, she's waited there, you come back in and you're going to feed straight away. So the hand literally p sort of feeds her straight away. There's no kind of in enticing her forward going, hey, look, you're coming to get rewarded. Yeah. Can you see, because she comes forward. OK. Sit. When rewarding your dog, it doesn't always have to be rewarded with food. We can use toys and any other kind of objects that the dog gets reinforced by. So if your dog's really high drive on a toy, instead of going back and feeding it with food all the time, when you've asked the dog to wait and it's executed it correctly, you can throw the toy back to the dog so it's getting rewarded and paid by doing the behaviour with its toy. Go. Yay. Yeah, mate. Good work, excellent. Yeah.